We do this to inform people that there are risks with going into the ocean. I'm the ocean water sampler for the Environmental Health Department Ocean Water Quality Monitoring Program. I test around 40 sites um, over the 42 miles of coastline in Ventura County. But this would be bacteria that would originate from the gastrointestines. So we're looking for fecal in the water. Well, my day starts first sight at 8.15 and then I have to be at the lab by 1 p.m. That is to ensure the quality of the first sample that we take. So the bacteria that lives in the sample has a lifespan, so that's why we keep it chill also in the cooler. It may be carrying viruses, so that's why we want to ensure that people have the information as soon as we get the results. We take samples from the entire coast of Ventura County, all the way from Rincon down to Point Magoo. From there, what we're going to do is add specific chemicals for each of the bacteria we're looking for. We're going to dilute it, we're going to put it into trays, and then running them through our sealer. We're going to put them in an environment where they'll want to grow. These incubators are set to different temperature ranges so that these bacteria after 18 to 24 hours will be at a temperature that will allow them to grow to a point where we can actually tell what's present. Then we'll take them out and then we will read the number of wells that are either yellow or yellow and fluorescent. And once it's reached that threshold, the County of Ventura will know that beach is not safe for the public to use. And at that point, a notice will be posted. I immediately try and get out there and post signs and take a resample as well so that we may test it and see if it's cleared up. A lot of times it's agriculture, it can be industry, or it can even be just like living in a city. It can be road runoff, and oftentimes it can even be linked to like a sewage leak or something. So the beauty of this is that the ocean is an environment that does heal itself. So by the time I collect the sample and by the time we get the results 24 hours later, the current state of the ocean may not be exactly what it was 24 hours ago when I collected the sample. That's why we go and we retest again to see what the conditions are. We ask that the public maintain a 50 yard distance on either side of the sign to allow the ocean and nature itself to dilute the harmful bacteria away. We don't have the authority to tell people don't go in the water. We can only give you the information necessary for you to make an informed decision whether or not you choose to go into the water.